What is currently happening programs? Today I'm going to cover off the best spec to tell you which VR headset's image will look the sharpest. Screen resolution is a spec thrown around a lot by the tech marketing industry in order to sell us TVs, phones and VR headsets, but in the VR world in particular, resolution is worthless on its own, and today I'm going to explain why that is. So if you want to see the clearer picture, then stay locked, enjoy, and I hope it helps. Screen clarity is all about being able to make out individual pixels, or not. For example, on a low res screen, you'll easily make out all the big individual pixels, which is usually not what you want. On the other hand, smaller and more concentrated pixels are difficult to tell apart, and thus the image looks clearer. Simple stuff keep that in mind. So why then is resolution mostly useless at telling you how sharp the image in your VR headset will be? Well, to understand the answer, first up, let's look at resolution. Resolution tells us how many pixels there are horizontally and vertically across a screen or display. And if you multiply these two numbers together, it will tell you the total number of pixels contained in that screen. Nothing new there, and you probably knew that already. What you may not know is that if your VR headset has a higher resolution than my VR headset, then that doesn't always mean your headset will have a sharper image than my VR headset. So why is that? Well, that's because if we take two screens of the same resolution, let's say 2880 by 1600, which is what you'll see in an Oculus Quest totaling a little over 4.6 million pixels, but one of those screens is larger than the other. The larger screen will look more pixelated than the smaller screen because each one of those 4.6 million pixels in the larger screen will need to be bigger to fill up that screen and thus your eye will be able to tell those individual pixels apart a lot easier, which again is not what we want. It's also worth noting that if we are talking VR headsets in particular, a wider field of view headset given the same horizontal resolution, will need larger individual pixels to fill up that full, wider field of view. Again, making it easier to tell those individual pixels apart. And so, resolution on its own is worthless when comparing different VR headsets that have different size screens or differing field of views, which a lot of them do. So, let's look at another term used around the block. PPI or pixels per inch. PPI, as the name suggests, is the amount of pixels contained in one inch of your screen. So if you have the same two screens as before of differing sizes, one larger than the other, but this time both screens contain the same 160 pixels per inch, then the image in both of those screens will appear to be of the same clarity. That's because it doesn't matter how big or small the total screen size the pixels in the larger screen will stay the same size as the small screen to retain that same 160 pixel per inch measurement. But more pixels will be added to fill up the larger screen entirely, meaning your eye will still see the same amount of pixels in one inch of screen. This also means that regardless of whether the field of view is big or small, there will still be the same amount of pixels in an inch of screen because the pixels won't need to be larger to fill out that wider field of view. Again, there will just be more of them added. That is, provided you are the same distance away from both screens. And why does the distance from your screen matter? Well, because if you take two screens, this time let's say they are the same size, the same resolution, have the same amount of pixels per inch, and in the case of a VR headset, they both have the same field of view, but one of those screens is totally two meters away from you, and the other screen is right up on your eyeball like you get in VR. The screen right up against your eye is going to look worse because you will more easily make out the individual pixels in that closer screen. Same specs, you'll just be closer to it. Which is where PPD, or pixels per degree, comes into play. PPD measures the number of pixels you see in a one degree by one degree area of the fovea of your eyeball, 
which is the part of your eye where visual acuity or clarity is highest. In other words, the part where you can see the sharpest image. And this is better because in the case of resolution and PPI, pixels either physically or perceivably change size when a screen size or screen distance from your head changes. Meaning resolution and PPI are essentially locked to the screen itself. PPD, on the other hand, is locked to your actual eyeball, and your eyeball won't change its size or distance away from your head, ideally. And the higher the PPD, or pixels per degree, the better. To understand clearly, let's take a look through the human eyes, specifically the fovea. If a screen is rated at 60 PPD, it means that 60 pixels by 60 pixels, which totals 3,600 pixels, will all fall on a one degree by one degree area of the fovea of your eye. It doesn't matter if you move that screen closer or further away from you, or get a bigger or smaller screen, or even if the field of view of your headset is bigger or smaller, because a 60 PPD rating dictates that you will still see the same 3,600 pixels per degree focused on your fovea at the sharpest part of your vision. And it's actually as simple as that. So now we're nice and clear. It's also worth noting here that 60 PPD is otherwise known as retina resolution. That is the highest resolution your fovea can resolve or see, provided you have 20-20 vision. If you go above 60 PPD to 90 PPD, for example, your eye won't be able to tell the difference between the two images because 60 PPD is as sharp as you can see. Anything above that is generally considered pointless. All in all though, this means that PPD is a more reliable and universal measurement that you can apply across all devices that have screens, from TVs to movie cinemas and especially VR headsets. The only problem though is that VR headset manufacturers like Oculus, HTC, Valve or Pimax aren't always giving us the PPD of their headsets at their default fittings. We can calculate it, but we do that by using other measurements and tools that aren't always readily available either, mainly monocular resolution and monocular field of view. So what we really need to do is take it upon ourselves to ask these companies the question, what is the default PPD of the headset you are selling us? In order to help out right now though, I've included a link in the description of this video that includes a table with the PPD of a lot of the VR headsets available today. For example, PSVR has 10 PPD, a Vive 11 PPD, an Oculus Rift 13.5, Oculus Quest 16 and a Pimax 17 PPD. The higher number the better. Though as you may have noticed, all of these are a far cry from the 60 PPD retina resolution that will give us true to life clarity. In saying all of that, it's not only the PPD that dictates the total image quality. Other factors like illumination, the type of optics used, contrast, color accuracy, pixel response time effect, sub-pixel arrangements and more will affect how dense and clear the pixels appear when they are presented to the human eye. Also, the above examples are given considering flat panel displays. When it comes to VR headsets, there is not only a flat panel display, but also a lens element that unwarps a pre-warped image before that image hits your eye. And so there are things to consider there as well. For further info on that, and if you really want to get in deep, then I highly recommend you read through the articles on Doc OK's website, which I'll link in the description below. All in all though, it is however safe to say that when comparing headsets with similar optic systems, PPD or pixels per degree is a much better indicator of how clear your VR image will look to you, rather than resolution or PPI. And that's it for this tutorial. You can help support this channel by grabbing exclusive rewards on Patreon. And if you like this video, then crush that like button, have your say in the comments below and hit the XO logo to subscribe if you wanna. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.